this is my review of week four. Week four was eating food straight from the earth. So this week we were trying to cut out a lot of processed foods. And um, it is difficult. It definitely is. But it's definitely not unachievable. It takes a little bit of thinking. I would strongly recommend if you're going to start cutting out a lot of processed foods that you do so you make a you make a meal plan at the beginning of the week before you go grocery shopping you know what you're gonna eat so you don't kinda get to a point that you're like oh my god I have no time what am I gonna eat today oh, I'll just stop at McDonald's on the way home so I would strongly strongly recommend making your meal plans ahead of time and having a lot of prepare your food like when you get home wash all your fruit and vegetables at one time so they're ready for you so if you're hungry just grab one and you can go. You don't have to like worry about peeling your carrots or breaking off your celery sticks. You can just um, yeah, grab and go. So I also want to tell you guys about how I was feeling this week. So I've been feeling a hundred times better. Um, I don't remember the last time I felt this good. Uh, typically I've always felt sluggish, tired, fatigued, and even if I don't do anything in a day, like that's, I'm just so exhausted. Um, I get headaches, I, my tremors, look, almost all gone, my hands are steady, and that's been since I became an epileptic, I've had tremors, and yep, not even moving. That is so phenomenal for me. I feel great. I have so much more energy, probably too much energy right now, because I'm having a difficult time falling asleep at night. I'm still waking up at a regular time, but I'm not going to sleep until like 2 or 3 in the morning. So I have way more energy than I used to, because I used to have naps during the afternoon and then go to bed at whatever, and wake up a million times during the night and then sleep in until like 11 or something. So. This has been such an amazing journey for me so far, and I really recommend it. Uh, take your time, don't do anything too too quickly, because a lot of people that do things cold turkey, they start, they, they, it's not sustainable for them. So really try to wean yourself off things, make goals, cut certain things out of your diet, um, but I would recommend more adding more things to your diet. And eventually find the foods that, are, that you like, that are healthy, and kind of focus on adding more instead of taking away because then when you're having healthy dinners and healthy lunches and healthy breakfasts, you don't have room for the unhealthy. So if you don't focus on, oh, I have to get rid of like breads out of my diet, I have to get rid of um, pastas and I love pasta but it's so high carb, should I eat that all the time or I have to get rid of burgers, I have to get rid of that. I have to don't focus on what you're getting rid of. Focus on what you're bringing into your life and do your research. Remember, knowledge is the is going to help you so much here. Um, I also wanted to talk to you guys about... Sorry, it's my cat scratching my wall. <laughs> I also wanted to remind you, or to let you guys know about um, aspartame. Because I have a major Diet Coke addiction. I guess. <laughs> I really do. Because I, I've been trying to wean myself off it for a while. And I do, and then I get a headache, and then I run for my bottle of Diet Pepsi, and I down it, and then I feel so much better immediately. So I don't really want to... I never really wanted to actually fully give it up because I'm so tired of headaches all the time. So last week I started trying to wean myself off it again, I got the headaches, I went right back to it, but last week I worked a lot more days than I typically do, so I didn't really want to do anything to mess up my work. This week i back to my regular schedule, so I think I'm going to work on just cutting it out, definitely cold turkey. Um, there's so many side effects to aspartame, and honestly, seizures, <laughs> uh, headaches, Muscle spasms, and I have like hypothermia, so that's great. Uh, anxiety, depression, pretty much everything I have is a side effect of aspartame. So I would recommend, if you're starting to cut out processed things, really start with a pop, because when you're cutting that out, it makes a huge difference. What I've done so far is 
Well, I went from having, I usually only drank about two cups a day, so I went down to about one cup, and then I'm trying to do it every other day now, and this week I want to try just not having any. But try to wean yourself off it, because, or you're going to have a lot of withdrawal symptoms. Um, yeah, I think that's it for today. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you guys next week.